Rufus Sport prodigy Gabriel Vanderlei will be making his amateur mixed martial arts debut on January 25th for the Chosen Few Fighting Championship. Pulling out the coupe at the lot, turn for a 12 for a swat, buzzing all the bells out the box. I just hit a lick with the box, had to put the stick in the box. Mm. Pour up the whole damn seal, I'ma get lazy. I got the mojo deals, we been trapping like the 80s. She said the nigga so got the cash out. Told him wipe a nigga, no. Say slap. Okay, here, back on the ground. Before, we up, you do no sweeps. Okay? Now, very tough wrestler here, don't let me, you know, move around, like, I try to get up, push him, it's so heavy. So right here, look, okay, put my hand on my own thigh right here. So now I'm trying to turn my body this way, and then look, overhook, overhook. Now look. Oh, oh. Nice. Oh, oh, yeah. Guys, very quick, just this one. This, I start like the... My grip is going to be in my own arm. You can do any kind of grip you want. If you want to go this one, if you want to go this one. But because the snap is not here, so I'll put over there, my hand go underneath and hold my own, my own arm here. Okay, and I have to stay with my head close to him. If I go back here, his head's going to pop out. So I stay close here. Okay, I know I don't have a full guard. Now what I do, I pretend to sweep, and I switch to heel up. Oh. It'll be very hard. It's you robot stuck. Yes. On my elbows while? Yes, exactly. Yeah. So as I lock, look, my elbow while go. You can skip. See, you're gonna break it. Because the lock here, when you roll, you push this arm up. So as I lock here, elbow down. See, it's one. Constriction. That's why the real naked choke is not about to pull it. Yeah. It's about you. Yeah. With this new segment called the Road Trip Diaries, it goes in depth of Gabriel's upbringing and how mixed martial arts has changed his life. Yeah. So uh, I was born in Brazil, January fourth, two thousand two. Um, I came to the U.S. when I was nine years old. I had just turned nine, and my dad had originally gotten a job here in the U.S., coming to teach for uh, Carson Gracie Sr. Um, at the headquarters down in Chicago, and a few years later, he was able to get me and my mom to come out here, and I had started jujitsu when I was eight years old um, in a community church program. I did that for about six months before I came to the US and then I started training with my dad and within my juvenile career as a as a jiu-jitsu competitor I was able to conquer a lot of jiu-jitsu tournaments I was a four-time kids world champ um, IBJJF gold medalist in a lot of the tournaments I competed a lot and that's all I did for up until I was 16 or actually 13 when I had my first um, pancreation fight which is an MMA fight without head strikes pretty much and I started striking when I still lived in Chicago it was like um there was another program at the same gym my dad taught at and there was like Muay Thai so I did that for a little bit. I was never really consistent with the Muay Thai. I just kind of went into the pancreation fight and did jujitsu pretty much because the striking wasn't necessarily the main point. And then that was also that two so far. I'm two and zero in pancreation. Uh, coming up, my amateur MMA career on January 25th. I've been on a real long fight camp in a way as in I've been waiting my whole life to fight um, on a real MMA level and I can finally do that now that I've turned 18 and um, it's been a long road and I've been training pretty much every day other than Sunday for, for the last few years just focused on grappling, striking, wrestling, MMA. I wrestled in high school 
I'm um, currently homeschooled for my last two years of high school so that I could um, teach at the gym and school obviously took up seven, eight hours of my day every day and that was, um, that was a lot of time. So when I switched to the homeschooling program, that was, that was way less, it's about two hours a day and it's more flexible, I can do it on my own time. So that's made it easy for me to teach the kids classes, be an assistant coach at Rufus Sport, and train my three, three to two to three hours a day. The nightly routine for Gabriel is doing a pad session to work on his striking, while also doing bag work for explosion and to build power. <laughs> Um, the main thing that motivates me is my my want to win and to be the best. Like all my jiu-jitsu tournaments through the for the past nine years, I've been competing, and my goal is to be the best. And I, as a juvenile, is the best. Um, since for the last two years, I've hit the bar on second and third place at Worlds. Um, so like. My goal is to be the best, and what motivates me is my want to win and to be prove myself that I'm better than everybody else and that I can do it. Um, the end goal is to become either champion of the UFC or one of these big um, events, whichever, whichever one I get into. Or My goal is to make it to the UFC, obviously, but right now, uh, in my amateur career, I want to get five five main fights this year um, I already have two planned um, get them all finishes that's my my personal goal for for this year in the future is to be the best at, at what I want to do which is fight MMA and take that belt home as many times as I can defend it and be the best uh, overall fighter in the UFC Bellator in the world honestly but that's, that's the main goal.